North American Rockwell Space Division proposes to serve NASA as space shuttle system contractor. We want the job for a lot of reasons, and we think there are a lot of reasons why we should have it. Good reasons. We want the job because we believe in shuttle as the key to man's future in space. We want the job because building space systems for NASA is the only pursuit we have. We're dedicated right now to finishing up the job on Apollo CSM and following through on the Skylab program. We have a good team here at Space Division. It's a team built up over more than a decade of work with the space agency. We want to keep it together and go on from here. We know what it will mean to be NASA's contractor for the shuttle system. What a load of responsibility we'll carry to NASA, to the government, and to the people of the United States, even to the future of all men. Our shuttle program manager, Buzz Hello, and his shuttle management team know best of all. They've been there on programs that were stepping stones to shuttle. It means designing the vehicle so that it will meet the mission objectives. But it also means designing the overall system so that it will meet objectives of cost per flight and cost of development and production. We've submitted our proposal. It's all in there. But we want to give it added dimensions, dimensions of experience. The Navajo, first piggyback flight, first big liquid rocket booster. The X-15, going from aircraft to spacecraft and back to a controlled Earth landing. Pioneering in space flight control, breaking all records for manned aircraft performance. The B-70, the largest and fastest Delta Wing aircraft built thus far. Pioneering with the X-15 in structures and aerodynamics and flight temperatures. Saturn S-2, an achievement in design and fabrication of cryogenic launch vehicles. And the Apollo Command and Service Modules, the first step for man in voyages through space. Neil Armstrong summed it up for us pretty well after his flight in Apollo 11. I've been a very fortunate fella over the years. I've, I've uh, flown a lot of machines that uh, many of you out here today have uh, put together for us, uh, including the T-6 and SNJ, B-51 and F-100 and F-86 and X-15. Those, those airplanes, uh, always took me out and got the job done and brought me back. And uh, it was no surprise to me to find out that Spacecraft Columbia would do the same thing. He wanted us to, uh, to redesign some of the yeah. parts on that ohm system because the way... We have a background of shuttle-related experience that we can lay on the line with any company. For three years now, we've worked directly on shuttle with NASA. Exploring, testing, learning. We've been using eight by eight inch uh, tiles. Which we've is come pretty far with a thermal protection system for the orbiter. Not perfected yet, but a good start toward a design that will provide the needed protection through mission after mission, yet fit into the turnaround requirements that will make shuttle economical to operate and maintain. We're learning a lot from the B-1 about production and about the kind of turnaround needed for a military system and how to design it in. To help achieve low cost per flight for shuttle, we've worked with American Airlines, learning how a commercial airline turns planes around within the tough commercial cost constraints and demands for safety, maintainability, and reliability.
if we want to handle it much the same way that we learned to handle it on the CSM and the S2 programs. And that is We've considered cost, schedule, and operational effectiveness right on down the line in our proposal, including our facilities, many of which can be adapted for shuttle production and test at a minimum of cost. The use of NASA and government facilities for test and for operations. And by the way, North American Rockwell is experienced with operations in every facility proposed for shuttle tests. That's it. It's what we wanted to say. We have the team with the skills, the knowledge, and the experience that NASA's shuttle system contractor needs. We have a good leg up on design and on management systems that will meet performance and cost goals. We're ready to work with NASA on selection of qualified firms around the United States to provide shuttle components and subsystems. And of great importance to our ability for follow through on what we propose, we're backed all the way by one of the 50 largest corporations in the world, North American Rockwell.